DGTS. Don't guys talk about smart stuff. Welcome to another episode of Dumb Guys Talk About Smart Stuff. And we're going to try this little um, venture here. And we've done it once before, but we're going to re review a book without reading it. We're just going to look at the cover, make up our own story, and see if it makes you want to go actually read the book. We're breaking all the rules here. We're judging a book by its cover. Yes. And, and I... today's book is Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, and it has an interesting cover here because... It lives up to its name. There's lots of gray here. Lots of gray. Lots of shades of gray. There are a few shades. There's some shadowing here. Um, but I'm seeing the shadows are black, so maybe we want them to be a little grayer. Yeah, it's a little uh, It's a little too dark for me. I mean, uh, I, I mean, sh the shades of gray, um, <clears throat> it can really expand um, into some of the lighter shades rather mm -hmm. than sticking to all that darkness. And there are there really 50 variants to gray? You know, I'm under the assumption that there's probably more shades of gray. Could be. I mean, I, I always just assume that there's only so many ways you can mix white with black. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, <clears throat> but I'm no scientist. Yeah, I'm no scientist either, but, uh, you know, or am I an art school major, which, uh, which I assume that this book has something to do with art. You know, we're looking at a tie here. It's gray. Um, and who wears ties but businessmen? So I'm going to say maybe this is an office book. They probably do work in an office, and they use uh, number two pencils. That's my guess. And they probably do some shading with it. Yeah, exactly. They're probably uh, uh, doing some shading, uh, maybe drawing some pictures, mm -hmm. um, and just good, wholesome uh, fun at work. Yeah, and I'm going to say, if you're wearing a tie to work, I mean, you're a professional. Yeah, so, you're a professional, I mean, you're primp, you're proper. So this is going to be very proper. I'm going to Jane Austen comes to mind. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice, or I don't know if that's a Jane Austen book, but whatever. I you, I don't even know who Jane Austen is. Well, she um, wrote all those books that are like about proper English people. Oh well, I'm I believe that this is probably uh, you know in line with that. E. L. James is the author. Um, that sounds very British, also. Uh, I, yeah. I'm assuming that uh, whoever the main character is of this book has a British accent. Yeah, I would say so, because who else wears a gray tie? Oh, right. I mean, I, mean I, I have a gray tie in my closet, but I don't wear it. I've got a gray tie in my closet as well, uh -huh. um, and I never wear it. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Which is interesting, yeah. I mean, I, I have blue ties that I'll put on once in a while, but gray? I mean, what I, kind of a color? That's boring. Right. It, it is kind of boring. It's kind of bland. Um, you know, 50 which, shades of gray? Is that 50 ways to be boring? 50 ways to be boring. And, and that's kind of the assumption I get when I look at the cover of this book. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's uh, it's kind of boring. Um, not a lot of stuff happens. It's really yeah. mundane. Um, it's probably guys with it wearing their ties in the office, sipping on coffee, saying some tongue-in-cheek jokes, <laughs> but talking clean about their jokes. Family. Very clean. Clean jokes. There's probably, uh, you know, I'm going to say G to PG. Yes. Probably in between there uh, because it, it, it is a professional setting. They don't want to get too raunchy with their jokes. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you probably even mentioned sexual content to these guys, they'd probably be offended and, and get a blush on their cheek. Yeah, their face would turn red. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be Fifty Shades of Gray anymore. No, um, and they're probably totally defeat the whole purpose of the book. They're perfectly happy reading Ziggy comics mm -hmm. and um, and going on with their day. Yeah, and I mean, they'd probably complain about the coffee, complain about their boss, complain about their work. It's probably like a, a lame ripoff of The Office. It probably is, but less fun... Um, Probably not a lot going on. They're definitely not doing Office Olympics. Um, their number two pencils are getting sharpened every once in a while because it starts to get dark. It starts a bit scratchy, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and they got to lighten it up a bit. I'm assuming they're probably doing something in the lines of maybe architecture hmm. or something. Yeah, who would you say the target audience of this book is? I mean, I'd say probably definitely not women. No, probably children. Uh, probably children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> maybe uh, preteens, yeah. uh, adolescents. Yeah. Um, you know, to be honest, I can see uh, maybe a fifth grade teacher reading this to her class. It reminds me of when my mom used to read me Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie is probably mm -hmm. a good example. Um, I don't know if this is going to be set in the, um, you know, the old settler times or whatever mm -hmm. that show or that book was placed. But um, I, I definitely see this as a family type book that you could read with the kids. Um, I, I can actually, I can see the kids coming and running, you know, at bedtime saying, mm -hmm. Mommy, Mommy, read me Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, I imagine that's happening all the time. Yeah, and 
<laughs> See, it seems pretty reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I, if we actually read the book, we'll be surprised. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not going to read the book. Um, and if they make a movie out of this, maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it looks too boring to make a movie out of. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. And and who would star in that movie? Uh, freaking some boring guy. Probably some boring Irish guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with an English accent. With an English accent. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, to recap... Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, a uh, lot of dull colors, uh, mm-hmm. nothing that stands out from the rainbow. Yeah, probably um, a very tame book. Very, very preppy. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, kid appropriate. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I so, recommend if you want to know more about the cover of this book, you check it out yourself because don't count on us to read this book. And also disclaimer, you should probably read it before you give it to your kids because we haven't read it ourselves so we have no clue. We have no clue. There's no rating on this book. Yeah, but um, it says but it's a number one Times New York Times bestseller. We're assuming that's so because it's, it's of the made kid. for a wide audience. Yeah, the kid uh, network. But again, read it yourself first before you let your kids read it. Yeah, and uh, let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. Signing out. And just one more thing, y'all bitches need Jesus. <laughs>